I don't know if anybody will be able to hear this since we're on the side of the road and it's really loud, but our Lie 3 system quit working, or quit charging. And we found out that we're not getting a signal in the back telling the Lie 3 system that our vehicle is running. So we tracked the wire down that is the signal wire all the way to the front of the vehicle. We opened our wall here, up here, and determined that Coachman runs the wire along this way, up over the door, down through the door, and then the jumper wire is this one, and alongside it is this wire, goes to the back. And we found this guy up in the fuse panel up under our dash. So now we have to figure out uh, why this fella um, isn't getting power. And we think maybe one of the fuses is blown, but we're still looking into it. So uh, for the future person who doesn't have theirs working, this might be where you need to look up under here in the dash. There seem to be two fuses on this end of the line. So don't know why these would have blown. We haven't touched it or done anything, but we thought we hit debris today and maybe that did it, but this is the line that's not getting 12 volts. So here we are. Here, I'll hold we, learned, we learned a valuable lesson since we already had to fix our fuses today. We learned that if you move this signal wire up to the cooling fan instead of the rain sensor, which is what Coachman uses, it will actually charge our battery with remote start, which is what we're doing right now. So all that work I did in our electrical panel is unnecessary if all you do is remove uh, this fuse panel and instead of plugging into port 16, you plug into port 1, which is the top leftmost port. They're both 5 amp fuses, so all it is is relocating this wire and you can charge while you're remote starting.